everybody, welcome back to the Bourbon Note. I'm Greg. I'm Ben. And today, we're drinking a rum finished rye. Mm hmm. That's just crazy. All right, Ben, I don't even know what to say anymore. I mean, we're a bourbon channel that doesn't even seem to review bourbons. Well, the last so. couple haven't been, but we've got, bam, Doc Swinson's Exploratory Cask Funky Drummer. So this should be an interesting one. What's up, Doc? <laughs> Doc Swinson's. So this is the, uh, I said it's called the Funky Drummer. This is their Exploratory Cask series. Mm -hmm. It's a straight rye whiskey finish in Jamaican rum casks, bottled at 105.3 proof. So, I know they have a regular rye offering that's in rum casks as well, at least I think they do. Okay. And so I'm not sure what the difference is. I am getting like a, a rum finish on the, uh, the nose. It, it well, does then they've done their job. A rum, well, it, it's noticeable. Rum and like the sugar cane kind of. I was gonna say that sugary vibe yeah. that you get off of a rum. Um, this one, I said it's 105 and some change. I believe I already said that, 105.3. Yeah. So they have a whole series of these out right now. Yes. I don't know if they're everywhere, but they're in select places yep. where they do bourbons in different casks and things like that. Yep. I have heard that rum finished ryes are fantastic. So let's get into it here and see There what are people happens. who really seek them out. Cheers. There's... Something interesting about this, I'm getting a bit of apple. Apple and um, definitely the sugar cane. Mm -hmm. Molasses you can kind of note from the actual rum. Sure. Um, it seems well aged. I don't know what the age is on this what because I was, you're getting a lot of maturity. Yeah, and sometimes the, they do the, say the, the age. I don't know if this one rum cast. does. Um, but I, what I was going to say is there's a prominent oak note, mm -hmm. but it's a really... Maybe it's like different. One of the more nicely balanced oak spice notes. So it's that apple. Yep. It has the flavors of a rye whiskey, but to be honest, like they're, it's not a traditional rye, like the, you're not getting like the clove and the orange no, peel and the spice. I mean, you're getting a little bit of that, but I was kind of expecting that this was gonna be like some crazy, bold, like in your face, wild whiskey. And it's not necessarily that, but in a good way. So I feel that this is very rum forward. There's a fly in There's here, a fly. we're in the garage. We're in the garage. Um, it's very rum forward, which is kind of um, interesting because I don't tend to drink a lot of rums and definitely not straight. Um, I don't know if I would go rum forward. I think because I'm not getting a lot of traditional rye, like but it's a definitely like bourbon-y type. Right. What I like about this is I think it has a fantastic balance of a bunch of, you know, sometimes you'll get like a rye or a bourbon and it'll have this one weird note mm. that kind of sets it out, sure. whether it's good or bad. Yeah. And it just has that one thing that kind of makes it unique. I feel like all the flavors in this are a little bit of a departure from the standard stuff we tend to drink, bourbons or rye. I totally agree. And I, I would blame that on the rum. Right. And kind of toasted coconut. Like, yeah, there's a lot of things okay. going on there. Yeah, I get what you're saying, I suppose. Yeah. What I guess what I was trying to get is like, I'm not really getting a rum, like an actual rum flavor out of it, but maybe some of the things that go along with... I just don't drink rum enough. Like I suppose that's probably yeah, a thing, too. Probably we are not the rum, rum note. Yeah, exactly. But I think all of these unique things... Like, I was expecting strong rye vibes with something unique on top of it. Mm -hmm. This seems like just like everything about it is unique, but it's all packaged up really nicely and it works. Yeah, I, I like it a lot. It's really interesting. And, and sometimes I we have a whiskey or something that we drink and I say, you know, I like this a ton and I don't want another glass. Mm -hmm. This one, I, I would change that. Oh yeah. Like, I, I think it's because of the proof and the spice in it, like, cause it's kind of warm out. Um, yeah. I put ice cube in this and, you know, drink it outside. Sure. Yeah, obviously it's going to water it down a bit, but acknowledge, but yeah. Um, you know, the other thing is I've never had an MGP rye that I know of. Mm -hmm. Um, have we? Uh, oh yeah. That Union? Remus and Rossville Union. Rossville yeah. Union. Yeah. Yeah. Duh. Okay. Well, scratch that, but, yeah. um, so, Doc Swinson's, we've had a couple of their things now. Cast strength in a regular. Yep. Um, I'm definitely going to be buying more of these. And I even the so. exploratory cast, yeah, for sure. I, totally. 70 bucks. The regular Doc Swinson's is like... 60 to 80, at least at um, 
liquor stores that we Yeah, the yeah. regular Dax Winston is around 50 sure. if you want to just try their, their basic, but they're doing some really cool blending, really cool cask finishing, mm -hmm. um, their store picks. So Doc Winston's is doing all kinds of cool stuff that I'm super looking forward to. Totally agree. To kind of expanding. So I think like I'm kind of tempted to just focus my next a couple whiskey purchases on this brand and then maybe moving on to another brand and focusing yeah. another couple purchases just to like maybe get in exploring more brands. Yeah, and, and I mean, MGP seems to be doing some really interesting things where maybe some other brands aren't doing mm -hmm. anything like really, you know, pushing the boundaries. MGP, sure. and, and I don't know if this is MGP or if this is a distiller that's kind of taking their juice and doing it on their own. I would own. imagine it's I don't know MGP. exactly how that works. I mean, the, the, originally the juice came from MGP, but are they the ones making the decision of how to market this? I don't know. No, that's Doc Swinson. So they just okay. buy the buy okay. the whiskey okay. and then all the cask finishing, all the blending, mm -hmm. that's all them. Okay. You know, so that's what makes, you know, kind of like a non-producing distillery sure. still unique is yeah. they can take a, a sourced whiskey, but then they put their own kind of signature on yeah. it. Yeah, okay. So, so then it's Doc Swinson's that we're really impressed with what they're doing. Yep, absolutely. And so, they, like I said, I think they do have a regular rye finished in cognac that's not the exploratory cask. Cognac I don't, or, or I mean, uh, I'm sorry, Jamaican rum. And so I don't know what the difference is, but I think that one is maybe around a similar price point. So okay. if you see these, I would totally recommend based on what I've had from them. Yeah. Doc Swinson's is definitely a brand to, to check out for sure. Totally agree. All right. Well, this has been Doc Swinson's Exploratory Cast, the funky drummer on the Bourbon Note. I'm Ben. I'm Greg. Till next time. See you next time.